वंदे गुरुपद्वंद भक्तबिंद समीचैतन्य प्रभु वंदे नितानंद सहोदित श्री नंदनंदन वंदे राधिका चरणोदय गोपीजन सामयुक्त बिंदावन मनोहर वाशा कल्पतरु वश्य के पा सिंधु बिवच पतितान पावने वैष्णवेभ्यो नमो नम मुकोति वाचाल पंगुम लंघयति गिरी जत्कि पातमहंग वंदे परमाधव बृंदाओतुसीदेवैकेशव सच कृष्ण भक्ति पद देवी सत्वत्व नमो नम नारायण नमस्कृत नरुंच नरोत्तम देवी सरस्वती व्यास तथो जयो मुदीर संकीर्तने कृष्ण कथोपदेश गौरीय पत्र प्रकाश निज सदाक्त गुरु भक्ति युक्त भक्ति प्रमोदाक्ष जगोदरुण धेय सदा परिभवन भविष्टदोहम तीर्थास्पद शिव विरिंचन तम शरण्य बेतातिहम पनत बाल भवादीपूत वंदे महापुरुष ते चरणारविंद यल्लवनुखचंदमि छटाए विस्फुजीत कि आदर्श पूर्णागर सागर सागर मूर्ति साराधिकामयी कदा कि श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु नितानंद श्री आद्वैत गदाधर शिव सदी गौर भक्तबिंद श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु नितानंद श्री आद्वैत गदाधर शिव सदी गौर भक्तबिंद हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे आजानुलंबित भुज कनका बुदात संकीर्तन कपितर कमलायताक्ष विशाबरो द्विज बरो जुगधर्म पालो वंदे जगत प्रिय करो करुणाभारो हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे नमा गंगे तव पादंकज सुरासुरवंदो दिव्यूप भुक्ति मुक्ति दिनीम भावान्ूपेन्न सदा नरान गंगा तरंगरमणीयटा कलाप गौरी निरंतर विभूषी तवाह भाग नारायण प्रियमनंगमदापहार वाराणसीपुरपति भज विशनाथ वागीशजुषु वदने लक्ष्मीजस्म सवशसी जैसे हृदय संबीतमहम भजे हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे हरे 
हरे राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे श्री ब्रह्म संगीता वंदे सिद्धांत सार मंजुषा ज्ञान विज्ञान वैराग्य संयुक्त प्रेम भक्ति दाम श्री महाप्रभुन आनीता मुदा दक्षिण भारत प्रदत्याम भक्त वृंदायुशिनीलाचल धामिनी श्रीयता श्रीयता नित्यम गीयता गीयता मुदा चिंतता चिंतता भक्त शिव संगीता हृद श्री ब्रह्म संगीता वंदे सिद्धांत सार सारसमंजुषा ज्ञान विज्ञान वैराग्य संयुक्त प्रेम भक्ति दाम श्री महाप्रभुन आनीता मुदा दक्षिण भारत प्रदत्याम भक्त वृंदायुशी नीलाचल धामनी श्रीयता श्रीयता नित्यम गीयता गीयता मुदा चिंतता चिंतता भक्त श्री ब्रह्म संगीता हृद ब्रह्म संगीता वंदे सिद्धांत सारो मंजुषा सुंदर सिद्धांत सारो मंजुषा गौरी गोष्ठीपति गौरी गोष्ठीपति शिशिल भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती गोस्वामी ठाकुर प्रभुपाद परमंश जगदगुरु टोल्ड दैट भगवान गौरी गोष्ठीपति शिशिल भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती गोस्वामी ठाकुर प्रभुपाद परमंश जगदगुरु टोल्ड दैट भगवान के इट मीन्स दैट भगवान दैट ही कैन दैट बाई अवर मटीरियल सेंस ऑर्गन्स इन फ्रंट ऑफ दैट दैट ही कैन जस्ट रिजर्व द राइट he can just uh, he will not at all uh, manifest his own uh, real swarup in front of us that kind of uh, real swarup that kind of vichar it uh, bhagwan will not at all he can just make that kind of vichar in our case it means that that uh, so much uh, our material sense organs that material mind intelligence material perception material ideas bhagwan in order to know bhagwan it is not at all possible it is all actually rubbish in order to know bhagwan in actual it is all rubbish it is not at all rubbish all these activities are rubbish it is impossible to know bhagwan like that that's why in the shastra it is written ato du sangam sij satsu sajit buddhima sant eva sachindanti mano vyasangam ukti bhi that just by avoiding dusang that just by avoiding all kind of dusang and that you are actually taking the shelter of pure guru vaishnav that from the lotus mouth of pure guru vaishnav that aprakrit vaikunth vani you are actually just hearing from the lotus mouth of that pure guru vaishnav then all the actually dirtiness and all anarth from our heart will just uh, get vanquished and it will get destroyed completely and after that slowly steadily we will get that kind of realization inside our heart that kind of realization we will get with before that it is not at all possible to get that kind of actual realization that bhagwan in front of us in front of our material sense organs that he will not at all uh, manifest his own real swarup in front of us he will be just maintaining this kind of vichar in front of us by not manifesting himself in real in front of us he can just reserve the right of not being exposed to our material sense organs that's why in the shastras it is written yato vachana vartante aprapa manasa sah that your mind intelligence chit whatever so your capacity is all actually you are just in order to just know bhagwan if it is going ahead in order to know bhagwan 
if you want to know bhagwan and your mind intelligence is going towards that pathway then then in just one fraction of a second you can just jump back you will be just kicked kicked back that's it everything will be just rubbish nothing will be successful that jada abhinivesh material abhinivesh that we have that third abhinivesh that kind of material that from infinity time period that from infinity time period that kind of material abhinivesh we are having this material abhinivesh that who can protect us from that who can actually protect us from that material abhinivesh some someone is there who can protect only by the kripa of sadguru he can only protect us from all this that's why prabhupada speaking that uh, this material abhinivesh that by this material abhinivesh who can just actually protect us from that that shri gorang mahaprabhu all those eternal parshad of gorang mahaprabhu shri gurudev only shri gurudev is the only shelter of ours that who can just uh, take us out from this uh, cycle of birth and death and from the cycle of karmic reactions he can only just protect us from all this who is guru and who is laghu this kind of difference and this kind of vichar who has made this at present it is an international question but in this present yuga this is just one kind of international question in front of us that who is guru and who is laghu that who will actually do that kind of particular vichar what's the difference between that how we can understand that we just need what is the actual um, uh, actual pathway to understand this the prabhupad actually speaking that first you need to make this vichar that whether you yourself are sincere or not you have this kind of vichar first after that other kind of vichar will come later prabhupad actually speaking that first you just need to make sure that whether you are yourself nishkapat that what you want that you yourself are sincere or you are uh, kapat that you just need to think that whether you want to just uh, get that absolute truth in your life or not you just need to make sure about that that kapat ka, ka, couple kapat people cannot get the actual mangal in his life that kapat kapat people cannot get the actual mangal in his life at all that kapat people kapat people never can get any kind of mangal in their life that kapat they will just be taking the shelter of that topmost lie in their life he is a liar number 1 and he'll be taking the support of lie all the time they don't have this kind of idea that just by in order to hide one lie from someone that one thousands of lies you just need to speak in front of others that only one lie you just need to uh, make sure you just need only one lie you are speaking and in order to just uh, hide that one lie you just need to speak more and more lie, lie in order to just uh, Uh, and you will be just lying like this then at the same time from the pathway of pure guru vishnu you will be going to the opposite direction that the, the actual pathway will just get uh, obstructed or diverted that kind of actual pathway for bhajan is not at all there apart from pure guru vishnu so that's why those who are those who are lagu and who is actually guru this kind of vichar this is actually first for that we you ourselves has to make this kind of vichar that at least we are we are actually on that platform of nishkapat or not or we are kapat if we are actually nishkapat then bhagwan nityanand balram it's the responsibility of nityanand balram to take us out of that i have already told it a lot of time this before that this is actual commitment of nityanand balram that ditanand prabhu actually speaking that uh, that i have that responsibility to make you out of this material sansar now you tell me you tell me now that you are actually sincere or not you yourself are sincere you yourself want to get out of this material bondage or not the, that in this whole bhajan rajya in this whole world 
may be up till this uh, heaven hell wherever you will go you can just uh, make one statistics and just can find out there and can just make this kind of vichar that uh, millions and millions of jeevatmas who is that particular person that who actually in actual he wants bhagwan you understand what i am speaking every everyone is liar number 1 they don't want bhagwan they want from bhagwan <laughs> no one can just swear on him and can speak like this no one can swear on him can and can speak that yes we need bhagwan only we need from bhagwan we don't need bhagwan we need from bhagwan that is the difference whatever whosoever he is in whatever uh, sanyas whether baba ji vesh whatever uh, uh, sanyas acharya whosoever he can just touch shaligram and just on to lotus feet of nirsingh dev he can touch and speak that yes i need bhagwan he can't speak like that that i know in name fame position nothing i need he can touch and speak so he, his hand will just get become more shaky and his body will tremble like uh, in fear that he definitely he don't need bhagwan but the actual thing is that they no need bhagwan we don't need bhagwan at all we need from bhagwan that in our previous ashram we haven't got any kind of job and any kind of pratishtha from anyone nothing we have got and in the studies also we haven't got anything to, to done up till date so only one pathway is open that i can just become one baba ji and can become acharya and son can take sanyas that's it everything is done everything will come automatically that in the purva ashram previous ashram which was not at all possible before now actually it is possible very easily very easily it is possible now so that's why who is guru and who is lagu this kind of vichar before making that kind of vichar first we need to come on to the nishkapat platform we ourselves has to see ourselves that whether we are nishkapat or or we are having a kapat bhav we are sincere or not that kind of sincerity would be is there any kind of duplicity in us if it is not at all there then definitely Uh, that prahlad uh, that he is speaking that you just be uh, you you just forget everything baldav ji maharaj this is the actual uh, prayer of baldav ji maharaj that how we just need to how we need to do bhajan and in which condition we will get the satsang and actually it is all the responsibility of nityanand but our in our life before fun sincerity if we can see after that Uh, in knowingly unknowingly some aso- a bad association with that that anavilash that kapat bhav just get produced inside our heart prabhupad speaking this point that at the starting of our bhajan bhagwan shri krishna he is actually all the time getting to attract us that we have already got guru kripa that by guru kripa only we can go ahead and krishna ji is actually just attracting me towards uh, himself krishna is doing that and in between the pathway prabhupad speaking in between just following that pathway there is something wrong done and we are actually getting some asakti and attention towards some other things my eyes and my attention just goes towards other things that kind lot of cases are there regarding this there are lot of examples there are countless examples regarding this at the time of prabhupad also that he has got the uh, topmost grip of prabhupada and he is serving prabhupada and nothing is there no problem is there and his vichar and siddhant vichar oh when he was writing was topmost his writing was so much important and topmost that you can't even imagine god he is called god a sampadak and when he used to speak some pravachan in the math and then everyone of oh, used to sit there from all the four direction very big big scholars used to just sit there pandit and they used to just write his siddhant vichar and with his pen and paper they used to note the siddhant vichar what he was speaking now by the kripa prabhupad only and when he thought that this is my own capability to do then everything destroyed everything gone in water he is gone he is destroyed so prabhupad speaking that that i have got guru kripa and uh, bhagwan shri krishna is actually attracting uh, us towards me he is attracting me towards him and i don't have any kind of uh, i'm just getting attraction towards some other thing in the in the pathway of bhakti maybe some i am beautiful woman or girl i am actually getting attracted i'm just uh, having my two eyes becoming four eyes so something has happened so everything destroyed in that nothing can be done 
that our bhajan is gone in between the pathway there is some break up and you just need to have to fall down from your actual position what to do and there is no pathway open for you no other other pathway to follow who is guru and who is lagu in this bonded condition it is not at all possible to have this kind of vichar impossible but if sincerity sincerity can be there there is no doubt about it duplicity if it is not at all there then baldav ji maharaj is the work of baldav ji maharaj to save us and who is guru and who is lagu this kind of vichar that bonded soul uh, on the basis of his money name fame position that kind of false ego if he is having that he has so much uh, having collected so much uh, money position that after getting so much ashwarya he is just getting in deep of that ashwarya opulences and he don't know what is his actual situation of his own and what is his actual status in the society whatever position and name fame he has just already collected in the society that if some vaishnav and who is not vaishnav this kind of vichar if you give him then first he will just want to separate gor kishor das baba ji maharaj from him that kind of siddhant which are his foolish number 1 he will actually that foolish person will just gonna just separate gorki chordas baba ji maharaj why because it is actually against his siddhant which are so he gonna just separate it so the which are actually proper speaking that the all the guru works that who is that who is the actual aradhya vastu of all the sadguru or that who is the actual object of worship for all the sadgurus that kind of pound vastu parat par akileshwar bhagwan bhagwat seva bhagwan shri krishna seva who has just got all the time continuously the seva is going on then they, that kind of paripurn that complete vastu they can complete object that all the time continuously it is going without any breakage and diversion that without any diversion and interruption it is going on that is actually sadguru that is actually sadguru that we we are actually all the time busy in uh, that some piano that who is actually just uh, blowing piano and he is actually asking me that uh, there is some kind of wrestling guru also and in the english uh, who is teaching us english that kind of guru is there this and those who are actually guru of mathematics also these are not at all gurus actual uh, some kul guru is there and some all these kind of gurus everything is waste they not gonna save us from our uh, that from the lap of death they cannot just take it take us from the lap of death they cannot take us out so that's why in shrimad bhagavad ji mahapuran also i have already told a lot of time this shloka there sajjanun sasya pitan sasya sajjanani sasya daivam na sasya na patim na sasya namo chede jo samapetam itu that that kind of uh, death name called death i am actually very fearful about that we are very fearful we are very fearful about that and who who can you know cannot save us from the death fearful death that he is not at all sadguru that who cannot save us from that fearful death he is not at all sadguru because there is when that fear of death is coming when we are not at all sharnagat and our attention from bhagwan is actually going towards maya when now up till that point our intention and vichar and our consciousness it is actually onto the lotus feet of bhagwan onto the lotus feet of guru vishnu bhagwan naam dham etc it is all the time continuously coming then there is actually no point of getting that fearfulness towards the uh, word that there is that fearfulness already comes when our attention is that from it is just getting diverted from the lotus feet of bhagwan towards maya maya tak maya ka or it is just going towards maya then fearful fear fear fearfulness will come bhayam ditiyo vinivishataha sap ishat apadasya viparja asruti tan mayaya ato bodho avayatvam bhaktoi kaisham gurudev utatma bhayam ditiyo vinivishataha dhyan des bhakti just be careful on this point when i'm speaking ditiyo vinivesh why it is spoken like that that i have already told a lot of time that in this infinity brahman that you have already told me a lot of time that in this infinity brahman there is nothing actually nothing existing we have already told this point that adya gyan tat is ever existing so then why you are actually speaking why actually you are speaking this point to us 
यू हैव ऑलरेडी टोल्ड योर सेल्फ नो दिस पॉइंट यू और सेल्फ एज टोल्ड दैट इन दिस इन्फिनिटी ब्रह्मांड दैट दैट अद्य ज्ञान तत्व इज देयर so how you have you actually spoken like this why it is spoken like this like that definitely it is advai gyantat only that this whole material world there is no other tatva apart from that advai gyantat that in this own infinity brahmand in this whole material world whether a prakrit or transcendental world there is no other uh, uh, object apart from advai gyantat but that still that advai gyantat that temporary or transcendental that in that uh, transcendental uh, world that infinity diversity of agrigantat and prakit jagat mein ye ehi this kind of adhyagantat is that just by the actual uh, prabhav of my effect of my it is decorated with diversity and excellency but that is material excellency but for temporary purpose You understand what I am speaking. That's why with the punishment, whether it is not there, but still it is there. There, there is no tattva apart from Bhagwan, but still there is the punishment. That achinta bhi dabe tattva. This according to that vichar, you just need to. You just need to understand and you just need to realize that. Why? Because this kind of word death is not at all there. it is not at all existing what you are speaking it's not possible yes i am speaking you right that the word kind of word uh, death is not at all existing but how actually the person is actually dying yeah this death it is not at all actually uh, getting as existence with atma that atma don't have any kind of uh, uh, existence with the death and in gita also bhagwan actually speaking that the when the old cloth is just get torn off that you just need to throw that and in order to just get a new one so in the same manner the atma is actually just getting transferred into other body so like this there is kind of fearfulness for death it is actually just making you more and more fearful that kind of unknown fear for death that unknowingly that kind of unknown fear how actually it is putting so much fear in in inside us that automatically it is just running towards us that is actually so much surprising to see but this kind of thing uh, death is not at all there this kind of word death is not at all there and in the shastras also that kind of description of uh, death is also given that about what is the actual definition in the shastras regarding death in the shastras it is written what it is written in the shastras it is written that that this body and our uh, the whole material world and this whole temporary material world we to, we it just our connection is getting off that authentic vishruti means that you cannot remember anything with this material world that you cannot keep any link with that uh, material world at all when all sanskar actually everything will go the just like a uh, smell of the flowers that the smell of the flowers with the air it is just flowing towards our nose and is just uh, getting the fragrance of that flower particular flower with the help of air in the same manner that's why divya gyan after getting divya gyan that kind of uh, death is not at all there it is inevitable death is, that is that is there is no word regarding death after getting that adya gyan at that absolute truth it is not all possible why because that kind of unknowledgeableness when he is in anarth all the time in darkness of anarth knowingly and unknowingly jeevatma that kind of asat sang is still there in connection with that all the time he is doing asat sang when it is there then automatically this kind of fearfulness of death definitely gonna uh, make you cry more and more that and he is actually just getting away from the divya gyan and that uh, when you are having divya gyan then you will not be going into the lap of death at all amritatva pratibadh manam hain amritatva 
when you will getting the topmost nectar that this is not just like a nectar of heaven you just understand this point this is not just like, like a nectar of heaven this is actually topmost divya aprakrit nectar the transcendental nectar of the transcendental goal of dham after getting that transcendental amrit nectar after getting that nectar there is no reason of for death like the case of parikshit maharaj you can see parikshit maharaj there actually no question of death at all parikshit maharaj has just gone away that's why sukhdev ko swami pad actually speaking that you will just die this is just like one kind of uh, you are actually just by unknowledgeableness you are developing this kind of thought because you are not this body you are not this body at all you are actually atma no that i have given you one example in the bangla katha also i have given one example 20 25 days back that uh, that in this whole infinity world whosoever is there that all material education is there that all this material education it has no stability at all why why because are we if we have actually already configured that definitely stability must be there no no stability is there that up till what degree uh, you just want to take from the foreign country you can take that but there is no stability at all for that why because you you are actually acquiring that particular degree from foreign country that from the big big companies are actually offering you nice nice offers that you just come to my company I, you you will join my company i can give this kind of facilities to you so i'll give you lakhs of rupees this lakh of rupees and up till this point i'll give you just nice food and every eating everything i'll give you so the, the different different company actually giving different different offers different different companies are giving different different offers different separate offers are they are giving providing Each and every company giving different different offers. Why? Because in the internet has so much effect that even some person is getting some particular degree, and he has from taken some degree from America or England from anywhere he came. He his value will just get increased, and now just by getting the internet, they are actually calling all the genius people. You understand the point what I am speaking. that uh, our india also this uh, all the very nice nice young people their his uh, salary is 4 lakh something rupees inr indian rupees per month and now you can see per day is getting that sorry and who actually has how um, how will it, will his brain be working in at present you just make this kind of vichar now otherwise your brain will become inactive if you will just not be doing any kind of vichar then your brain will be gone inactive whether this kind of brain body is not at all there but still it is there but if that particular person he is getting paralysis and he is getting brain stroke then the any of the company will giving 4 lakh rupees to him per day it is not at all possible why he will give them why he will not give them you are you are thinking that why he will not give them the question coming that same degree is there that same person is there that is the same degree he acquired now and the same person is also there that the particular person has taken that degree but still now his uh, day is not his day his that the whole human beings are getting transformed and change changing day by day so in this the vichar will become that whatever material education you are taking there is no stability of that but that whatever transcendental world that uh, topmost uh, uh, transcendental knowledge is there if you are getting that whatever you will be just taking of the transcendental knowledge that if you will not at all doing any topmost dangerous aparad up till that point if some dangerous aparad also there then still you can get out of that bhagwan any how he just need to make sure he can just uh, uh, take he can take him out of that but still if you some that uh, Uh, some dangerous aparad is there then his degree of consciousness will just drop off then there is no other pathway open for you no other pathway open everything is just lost so otherwise 
in the Gita also it is written up till that point he is actually doing bhajan that maybe there is some enjoying mood in him some something is there so he hasn't got any kind of siddhi in bhajan still now but still in the next birth he just gonna just get 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 some advantage from that some release from that where he has just left his bhajan previously he will be starting that same from the same end he will be starting his bhajan again he will again start the bhajan from there you understand the point but then this prakrit uh, jagat that material jagat this kind of uh, concept is totally wrong this cannot be applicable in this material world it is not at all possible no one will actually call you lot of uh, stories are there if i will be just uh, telling you the stories and i don't have this kind of time to tell you what to do lot of devotees are like this that jad bharat ji maharaj that uh, what he has done he actually when in the when he has just taken birth in the brahman vansh and he has just maintained this kind of celibacy that i will not be talking with anyone that i'll be just be like a mad person and i don't have any relationship with i will not at all speak anything to anyone if i'll speak to him then definitely some association will be done and when i have talked previously i just got into fallen condition so now i will not talk with anyone so nobody actually knows this point that he is actually mahabhagwat jadbara ji maharaj that in the south india the shatkop is there shatkop is there he i already heard that actually is avatar of vishwaksen shatkop nobody knows this point that he is so much topmost sadhu he is shatkop he is not at all talking with anyone just like a mad person he is just roaming around here there that's it not at all talking with everyone anyone so that that kind of so called so that so called so called guru that that vayu past all kind of some material sense or that respective enjoyment in that vishay only i think actually is giving me the acceleration or boost to do these kind of material things in life then definitely you understand that he is not at all sadguru he is actually lagu he is patit number 1 he is actually fallen number 1 he is not at all sadguru why he is giving this kind of instructions to me material instructions because material sons organs and everything it is actually all the time busy in material things that it is all automatically just getting away uh, going getting towards the material enjoyment all the bonded jeevas having this kind of natural attachment towards the material enjoyment but still they just need to think of that that they just want they you don't need to just study that and just need to learn this kind of attachment it is an automatic attachment and all all those things that those who are actually just uh, uh, imbibing me day by day that they are actually putting fuel in fire they are just uh, uh, accelerating me in that in those material activities whether he can become a guru not at all possible that's why bitam bhishma actually speaking इम्पोर्टेंट it is very much important to leave that you just need to throw that out that this kind of guru you will not at all get anything in your life you just go away from that guru that guru who actually is just blaming me or is just getting angry with me and those who is a guru who is actually protecting me from maya just by kicking me or whether externally you can see is very strict from outside he is very strict from his rules and regulations very strict and very hard but still he is actually protecting me from uh, material maya he is actually my sadguru vrindavan ka 
in vrindavan there is one story regarding that ek guru one guru ek guru ka paas one shishur hai. one uh, disciple actually living with one uh, guru kahani there is one i have already heard it uh, this story from vrindavan this is actually a fact in ramanandi sampradaya this actually has occurred one actually disciple used to live with guru and for a very small time he used to do seva of his gurudev but one day what happened that on to the lotus feet of gurudev he has done aparad and he has done aparad on the lotus feet of gurudev and after that after when he has done aparad and he just got into fallen condition after that his consciousness fall down and after that but that kind of sne he is actually enjoying of his gurudev that param puja was shri siddhar ko swami maharaj also speaking this this siddhant that if just be careful on this point attentive on this point param puja was shri my abhinu guru pad bhum speaking that if some sadguru and topmost mahajan if some kind of connection is there with that topmost sadguru if someone is getting that knowingly and knowingly then maybe today or tomorrow maybe day after or maybe in the next birth or maybe after some lot of birth definitely he gonna get uh, out of this material maya definitely the guru dev will protect him so this kind of uh, this uh, shirda ko swami mara used to speak maybe today or tomorrow definitely if this kind of relationship is getting basic relationship if that link he has got then and after just getting that relationship uh, he just uh, got that and uh, uh, after that also he is getting uh, into opposite direction maybe he is actually getting the snare of his guru dev he has done aparad whatever he has done but in the next birth he will be getting the same kind of snare and he will be just getting that kind of uh, um, margin of error that i have given you that example that she, that disciple has done aparad onto his lotus feet of guru dev ramanand guru dev and uh, with gurudev it's not like an argument argumentative talk but it's just looks like an argument it's not a argumentative uh, mood but it's just like an argument just i'll just tell you one example about my life gurudev actually speaking to me that beta you see that is one uh, on some uh, ant on my bed that i just uh, one done one mistake i have just seen it uh, very carefully very carefully i have seen after that i haven't got any ant then i am speaking to gurudev hey gurudev where is ant then gurudev become very angry with me then because gurudev speaking what actually gurudev speaking is this kind of uh, talking is not at all possible with gurudev conversation with gurudev it's not possible like that what i am speaking like maybe maybe the where is ant i am speaking it means that uh, gurudev actually speaking lie to me that there is no ant definitely i actually just uh, called you and just telling you that you see ant so after that i understood that this kind of uh, language this kind of uh, uh, language i should not speak in front of gurudev and i just uh, uh, ask forgiveness from my gurudev you just forgive me i am actually foolish number 1 you just uh, forget me gurudev so this is not lying of argumentative but it's still like an argument so he after that that disciple actually with some disease he just left his body and uh, then this disciple same disciple by some disease he has just left his body and after just leaving his body that very magical and surprising thing happened that with that in the same ashram there is one tree and on that tree there is one monkey is there and automatically this monkey he gurudev can understand that this monkey when that is a monkey and very uh, surprising kind of behavior we can see there that that very special and uh, at the time of hari katha he used to just sit and at the time of uh, uh, taking prasadam also he used to come and very silently used to take prasadam and when he used to call that monkey he just used to be oo mm, oo mm, like that he used to do and gurudev understand that definitely he is my that same disciple he has just left his body and he has just got the new body of a monkey now so gurudev actually understood that 
सो दैट गुरुदेव हु इज एक्चुअली नॉट एट ऑल हु इज एक्चुअली एबल टू प्रोटेक्ट मी फ्रॉम माया एंड हु कैन जस्ट टेक मी आउट ऑफ माया दैट गुरुदेव हु कैन जस्ट टेक मी टू द लोटस फीट ऑफ भगवान दैट गुरुदेव ओनली ऑन टू दैट लोटस फीट ऑफ गुरुदेव इवन फ्रैक्शन फ्रैक्शन ऑफ सेकेंड आई एम एक्चुअली जस्ट ग्लोरीफाइंग इज लोटस फीट दैट इन ब्रह्म संहिता that shlok which i have already started with about that i will definitely give uh, definitely give some description regarding that that is shri brahma samhita this brahma samhita the actually this is vandana actually glorification of this brahma samhita that the topmost siddhant sar the actual summary of all the siddhant and gyan and vigyan and vairagya sahitam this means you followed what it said gyan vigyan o vairagya gyan vigyan and vairagya everything is there in this topmost sangita that practical gyan is there that vigyan means that actually that with realization that actual knowledge you are getting and vairagya means that that gyan gyan vigyan and vairagya vairagya means vairagya matlab vairagya means that uh, in bhagwat charan that at bar, at the lotus feet of bhagwan you are actually feeling that actual attraction natural attraction towards bhagwat charan that you are feeling the natural attraction towards bhagwat charan when you are feeling that then in the uh, naturally that kind of enjoyment of this material world everything will get completely destroyed and vanquished so this is the actual definition of vairagya that who is actually whatever material enjoyment is there all enjoying mood actually just got destroyed and vanquished because vairagya has come now like ragunath das goswami pad has so much so much enjoyment all around that money power position name fame whatever not is there everything is there with them that all the material enjoyment every pratishtha is there with ragunath das goswami pad each and every pratishtha ragunath das goswami ka what is the actual uh, uh thing which is not at all there with ragunath das goswami so much vaibhav is there but still you see that on to the lotus feet of chaitanya mahaprabhu when he is getting the actual attraction that he got the actual attraction on to lotus feet of chaitanya mahaprabhu that's why whatever kind of material things are there whatever is there but still it cannot even touch ragunath das goswami pad internally in fine form he is actually just going to he is just going to have this feeling when this material things will gonna leave me that i will be just uh, uh, leaving this wish this is just one kind of false ego that all these material things will just leave me this is actually good with humble mood siddhanto saro manjusam gyan vair vigyan vairagya sangyukto prem bhakti dham that prem bhakti it is giving the best store of actual prem bhakti that gyan vigyan and vairagya all the three things that which is actually connected with that completely shrimad bhagavatam pramana mamalam or shrimad bhagavatam purana tilakam jat vaishnavanam dhanam eh भक्ति that shri amne is vichar on this vichar i have already just told this point shivan mahaprabhu dakshin bharat that mushriman mahaprabhu has just taken it from south india aur and nilachal mein and in nilachal wapas aane ka baat just by coming back to nilachal pradat pradatyam bhakt vindayu si nilachalo dhamani 
and uh, about this it is written the actual glorification regarding this in Bra- about the glorification of brahm samhita it is written every day you just need to do this reading of brahm samhita every day you just need to read brahm samhita with full anand inside your heart you just need to do the reading of brahm samhita every day all the time you just need to think of that that this brahm samhita under the guidance of all the devotees you just need to read this and with full consciousness you just need to understand with full consciousness you just need to understand inside your heart all the time this kind of consciousness should be there of brahm samhita in that you can just get the actual param mangal in that all the time in chaitanya chitamrit also in the madhya leela that in the nama parishad there is one kind of thing already written regarding this this one this thing is already written there at the at the bank of paschini radi mahaprabhu has just came to this paschini river when just going towards towards south india after taking bath in the river and just after taking bath in in the river prabhu actually just going to the adikeshav temple and there that with the top most devotees pure devotees mahaprabhu actually just started doing ishtagoshti ishtagoshti means association with pure devotees he is discussing about krishna topics with them where actually what is, what happened there with all the pure devotees mahaprabhu actually has done goshti there with ishtagoshti with all the pure devotees very nice is to go stay with all the devotees there prabhu all the devotees actually discussing about uh, pro brahman vaishnav with all the pure guru vaishnav they were discussing all the pure devotees he is doing is to go stay with all the devotees that there in brahma samhita that kind of named uh, title brahma samhita that kind of granth and shastra mahaprabhu just uh, discovered and this kind of book by taking this book mahaprabhu become so much happy after taking this book of brahma samhita by just uh, taking up this book after getting that book brahma samhita mahaprabhu become so happy by getting that book mahaprabhu getting so much anand inside his heart that you can't even imagine that so much anand ma is getting that top most his body is just uh, getting uh, comp all kind of ashta satvi vikar just came on to the body of mahaprabhu just by getting this book and just get manifested on the body of mahaprabhu to puti paya prabhu ila anand apa ar kampo sru sed stambho pulak vikar siddhanto shastro nahi bhamma sangita saman govinda mahima gyane param samano param karan alpo akhare kahe siddhanto apa thodi si shabdo me i am very small words mitam cha saram cha bagvita in this very small book this brahm samhita that the actual summary of all the siddhant is actually written there in this small book
that all kind of Vaishnav, all Vaishnav Shastras. All kinds of Vaishnav Shastras in that that all kind of Vaishnav Shastras are there. It is very, very important. Mahaprabhu has just uh, written this book from someone on a leaf page, paper of, on a leaf and just taken it with him. The document called Brahm Samhita. Mahaprabhu actually just have written this book from someone and after that he has just went to Anand Padmanabh temple and after that Mahaprabhu just came to Anand Padmanabh temple Mahaprabhu just, be, just went there and about that Panand Padmanam temple is the richest temple in the world. Someone speaking and someone speaking is Tirupati Balaji, but I don't know what is who what is the actual truth. Sri Sushala Sachidanand Bhakti Thakur also speaking that apart from this, that Sriman Mahaprabhu what he has taken that Bhagwan Sakshat Bhagwan Parat Parakhileshwar, what he has taken with him, he swam Swarup Swam Rup Bhagwan, Sachidanand Vigra, Sri Krishna Jidana Mahaprabhu has just taken this what we have to speak apart from that. That is the topmost thing what he has given. There is no kind of actual proof which we need to give regarding this. Bhakti Thakur speaking. That this book that it they, it, in the ancient Shastra, if we will be just counting in this Shastra in that, that will be very good. In the ancient Shastras, what is written on Purans and Shastras, if we have to uh, count that in that, that it is very good to count that in those ancient Shastras and Vedas. Why? Because uh, there, this is actual proof of Krishna Bhakti, practical Swarup of Bhagwan Krishna Dham, Krishna Nam, everything is actually practically proved there. And what uh, practically it's there. And that uh, don't, this kind of Shastra we haven't seen like that, where this glorification of Dham, Nam and Krishna Nam, everything. And someone speaking that Mahaprabhu has just uh, spoken this uh, on his own and has written on his own. And someone actually having this argumentative point that his logical argumentation comes and he is speaking that this Granth actually has been written by Mahaprabhu himself. It's not there in the ancient Shastras. If someone actually giving this kind of logical argumentation that uh, this kind of Shastra in there is no place in the ancient Shastras about this. Mahaprabhu has uh, himself uh, written this and Bhakti Thakur is speaking, speaking okay if this uh, Shastra actually is not uh, at all there this uh, practical abbreviation is coming inside our mind that this practical consciousness is coming that this vichar is coming inside our mind then apart from this what will be the topmost anand and happiness we can get because he is Swayam Rup Bhagwan Mahaprabhu is Swayam Bhagwan himself and he is just writing he is Swayam Krishna himself and if Mahaprabhu has only written this, uh, uh, Mahaprabhu Bhakti Thakur speaking, that if Mahaprabhu has written it, then there is no doubt about it at all. Like the case you can see of Sukracharya has that to Bali Maharaj, he is speaking that Maharaj, you just see that he is actually Vishnu Maharaj and he just came in the form of Batuk Baman. He just want to take everything from your hands. Just be careful about that. He is actually Saksha Swam Vishnu Vaya. He swam Bhagwan Vishnu only. Bali Maharaj actually just making one vichar and speaking that up till now. But Bali Maharaj actually making this vichar that up till now. I was thinking that he is just a simple Brahmin. But now actually when you are speaking it with full stamp that uh, you already just have given me this approval with full stamp that he is Swayam Bhagwan himself Vishnu. Then definitely I will be just worshipping him more and giving him everything to him. 
but definitely everything i have to give to vishnu only who will i give to then if i have to give something then everything i have to give to vishnu so it's good up till now i i know that he is just a brahmin but now you have given him his actual recognition that he is actually vishnu himself that he is swayam vishnu bhagwan vishnu then everything i have to give it to on to on to his lotus feet then mahaprabhu if he is bhakti no thakur speaking that mahaprabhu ji if he is actually has written this then it is more and more authentic and more and more uh, apart from this nothing can be more great than this because mahaprabhu that kind of uh, written this shastra that siddhant granth that in this vishnu jagat no one can just uh, no doubt is there about that such a topmost granth it is whatever which are you are taking in your mind or whatever kind of consciousness you are making that this brahma samhita this kind of uh, this excellence of brahma samhita this is topmost you cannot compare it with any anything it cannot get uh, be hidden from anyone such a secrecy is there which cannot be hidden shila prabhupada ji speaking shri gaur sundar gorang mahaprabhu shri gaur gaur sundar gorang mahaprabhu that uh, he has taken from samhita from there south india and uh, in the arjavrat let nami sangita and uh, brahm samhita this this actually preaching of brahm samhita nami sarit samhita is not at all there what is this brahm samhita actually this what brahm samhita is actually is all about it is very important to understand this brahm samhita you want to understand what it is you just uh, you can uh, hear this point very carefully that uh, from yesterday that because of the very uh, dark effect of this kali yuga that uh, different kind of shastras and knowledge or brahm knowledge everything will just get destroyed slowly steadily and again it will just get manifested automatically it is automatically from time to time bhagwan this is actual leela of bhagwan you can see that whatever kind of ved puran and sectra what at all are there if it you are not at all protecting that from time to time if it is not at all protected time to time then what can be done that it is very much important to protect the shastra shastra vichar siddhant vichar that uh, otherwise the future generation it will just just destroy and they will not get this actual uh, treasure if i will we not protecting the siddhant vani if we will not be protecting the siddhant vani properly then our future generation will just gonna uh, get uh, uh, away from this topmost deep vigyan topmost knowledge brahma knowledge they will be getting away but so lot of uh, mayavadis whatever are there so lot of mayavadis which are there available in the market in the vesh of vaishnav they are all mayavadis and in our math also mayavadis are there and the, in the vesh of vaishnav they are actually just getting the nourishment of mayavad which are inside their heart and they are actually preaching that mayavad which are uh, outside also their vichar is like that that the aprakrit jagat that this kind of divya gyan nobody should get you just need to hide that and you just need to project yourself in front of them you understand what i'm speaking like in the actual present yug it is written about prabhupad verbally they actually they are actually uh, but they haven't understood in even one siddhant vichar of prabhupad but they are actually giving introduction that they are of prabhupad their vichar is what that prabhupad bhakti no thakur vishuna chakravarti pad rup goswami pad jeev goswami pad sanatan goswami each and every one they are actually all are away from the actual siddhant vichar they are actually all away from the actual siddhant vichar they are thinking like that they they in the history in the history you can just see the previous history you can understand what is the actual thing those persons that kind of specific uh, general dharma like buddhism they are actually preaching their activities their their teachings 
that buddhist dharm that madhvacharya and mayavadis all they have just captured them and the mayavadis also have just want to destroy the vicharadhara of buddhist buddhi shastra so lot of vichar is there regarding this and their uh, their actual self is so much bad and so dirty their self uh, self is so much bad and dirty that they themselves want that our guru varg the our guru varg's writing should not be there at all and they just want to project themselves that definitely they will be thinking ourselves as mahajans so that is the condition so what to do that's why in our gaudiya sampradaya also this is actually going on that gurudev actually speaking that who i can speak sahajya even in our sahajya there number 1 sahajya is present gurudev speaking to uh, this is actual practical reason what gurudev has given with full uh, example and solution and at the time of destruction lot of examples are nitya nitya pralaya namitik pralaya nitya namitik pralaya prakritik pralaya all kinds of destruction destruction process it is written and now this vichar is there here brahma here brahma here brahma that kind of creation process of brahma and brahma is actually coming from the lotus navel of bhagwan from the mahavishnu's uh, uh, aprakrit navel i will be just discussing it tomorrow that bhagwan krishna is everything bhagwan that bhagwan krishna that he, this is that there are infinity brahmands and mahavishnu has infinity brahmands just by his one uh, by one uh, uh, by one swans from his mouth that air coming that infinity brahman coming out and when he is just taking up the air in he is inhaling the air in then all the brahman infinity brahman coming inside him so this actually return no there that in this infinity brahman that topmost manifestation is from mahavishnu but our brahman is actually is mahavishnu only karno dakshai mahavishnu and after that in and each and every brahman that creation there is one brahma separate brahma and karu karu karbo dakshai vishnu is actually that creation process brahma is actually getting manifested from there and actually the bhagwan has given him the actual uh, uh, capacity to do creation the capability to do creation so brahma is also bhagwan but he is not at all parmeshwar bhagwan means that is bhagwatta that topmost bhagwatta that bhago that has the topmost power isha ishwar he is ishwar so like this it is that brahma that when he discovered himself in this position onto the uh, lotus flower and lot of uh, incident is there regarding this and i'll be just uh, putting you some kind of brief description in front of you regarding that summary called discussion brahma at that at his avirbhav his avirbhav has just crossed the lotus navel of bhagwan and on that uh, lotus navel after that getting that from the lotus navel of bhagwan he is seeing that who i am actually and from where i am going what is my actual introduction what is my actual parichay what is the actual root cause of my creation and from of where this creation has just came from what is it what it is he just thinking like that and it means that uh, the actual uh, adhikar eligibility of uh, the creator the actual eligibility of a creator that adi kavi brahma that garvodakshai vishnu has just ke taken birth avirbha from the late lotus navel of the vishnu and all the four direction there is darkness and who am i what is my identification this kind of question is coming in the heart of brahma 
and all the time all the four direction there is darkness and brahma is making this kind of conception and about this in bhagavad gita mahapuran in the first skand that first shloka is there it's already written no tene brahma hridaj aadi kavaye mayanti asurai eh sarat bhagwan sarat vastu that bhagwan is actual swarat vastu tej parat par akhileshwar sachin and vigrah and is abhigya sarat vastu bhagwan object that apart from that there is no cause apart from bhagwan apart from bhagwan where be any cause is there no nothing is there why because he is sarv karana karana parama krishna sachidananda vigraha anadi adi gobindo sarv karana karana iska pichar koi nahi apart from this he has there is no cause why because for each and every cause behind that there is one another cause that there is cause and effect that the scientific reason in the science that cause and effect theory this kind of vichar is there concept of cause and effect is very much applicable in that if why actually it has this thing has happened at what time and at what place it has taken place definitely you just need to follow the second effect the previous effect and why that has had happened you just need to go to the previous history just i will give you one example regarding this that england there is one scientist is there of england that janam guri and madam guri i'll just give you one example you can understand the whole process janam guri and madam guri they are very poor but they are actually scientist very much they are doing a lot of hard work but they are very poor and they just actually doing their research work by a lot of difficulties and they just need a slight uranium but uranium is very much uh, costlier and uh, the top most costlier thing is uranium in this whole world and where they will get uranium they understand they discovered that from one factory that some waste product from the factory now now they are no there is nobody speaking west bengal they are actually everyone is speaking west west bengal <laughs> yeah every person is not at all speaking west bengal they are speaking west bengal <laughs> west bengal rubbish bengal oh, what to speak this is very uh, dangerous situation what to do and now this uh, janam guri and madam guri they just think that to some factory that some kind of waste product is there and up and from that with a lot of pain and difficulty they some kind of uranium can come out so that's why they have just taken pitch blend in fire they have just put it on fire and slowly steadily when it just go on for very slight uranium just came out of that after months after months they have just fired up that pitch blend and after that they got that uranium and what they have done they just have put that uranium in the room and in a film one new film they have just applied on that that crude film that very new film they have just applied no, no kind of contamination no light effect was there at that time and uranium was just kept on that film they yeah, have just in the drawer in the drawer where the film was kept inside that uranium they have kept that and there at the same time the film film was also kept there and when they have just in the morning they came back they saw that how it is happened that this is happening they become very much surprised we have just given uh, put a very new film there just a new film i have put that how it is possible that it has just got like this they just become uh, and and next day what they done they just again put a new film there and the same uranium they put on that and after that again they came the next day and they have just saw that another marking were there on the same place so in that case they were thinking he and she both the both couple scientist they were over sanguine about the fact that this uh, kind of metal what they have got from that definitely some kind of uh, other metal they are actually getting some rays are actually coming out of that they are we are actually in chemistry we are actually speaking alpha beta and gamma rays these three kind of rays are there radioactive elements radioactive rays after this so much difficulties and discovery after that yes really so 
that uranium inside that there is light emitting capacity and that kind of very top most radioactive uh, rays are coming out of that uranium and is a radioactive element and from there some rays are radioactive rays are coming and because of that that the effect we are finding on the film inside that film we are finding the effect and now actually what the x rays we are getting nowadays that photo of our bones and the liver photos everything photos we are getting now that is just because of the janiguri and madam guri we just need to thank them for that that they have just discovered that this photo the photo effect so this i have given you this example what you can understand that just by seeing the effect what is the cause you understand the th- thing what i'm speaking the effect just by seeing the effect what is the actual cause after before that you, you can just find it out after that you can find the real solution so like this whatever be the case of this material world why and about wo- what this kind of question actually coming about this the different kind of answers are there there is some kind of reason for every cause tene means that means the heart of brahma that kind of tattvagyan automatically and divvagyan how it get manifested inside his heart how it is how it is manifested by the grip of bhagwan only how how it is possible that i have already told you that srishti that those who are the actual adikar adikavi brahma that he has taken birth from the uh, navel portion of garbhodak uh, sai vishnu and in all the four direction there is darkness he has just saw he has just become mad just by seeing the what is the actual condition what it is and why actually there is all the four for darkness all the four regions and he can't understand the actual thing that who am i and from where i have just got my birth and what is the actual reason of this creation he can't understand that what is this lotus flower what is this actually and after that by the grip of bhagwan tapo 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 this uh, this word he has just uh, heard and after hearing the and you can speak that he has heard this word word tap that how he can realize the meaning of uh, tap brahma now you can question us that lot of material persons whatever are there in this material world or whether you are devotee each and every one this kind of question definitely will come that he is actually tap he is speaking this word okay now he is an uneducated and now he has just got the avirbhav and he don't know what is his actual reason of he don't have any kind of language uh, uh, knowledge about language so someone actually questioning that how he know the meaning of tap the actual answer is that to this is that that bhagwan has given lot of uh, analysis regarding this if i will be giving you the answer that top most in depth analysis is there regarding this that what is how what is the meaning of word how it is getting inside inculcated inside our heart you can't understand i will be just discussing it now the photo the photo prabhupad has just given lot of discussion dis- description on this discussion on that bengali actually in that vyakha spotovad the actual spotovad of word about that we will be discussing it it will be taking lot of time to discuss but still i'll be in two words i'll be speaking whether i'll be speaking some days back that what is the actual means photovad that panini what he wants to speak panini what he wants to speak and what is photovad and other kind of rishis and all in they have just written vyakaran about word lot of science they have just written about words what they what is their actual abbreviation what patanjali has written and other muni rishi muni is what they have written the f- most famous of them is your this uh, i have already told you no panini panini 
और पानिनी पानिनी हैज जस्ट गॉट द कृपा ऑफ भगवान पानिनी ऋषि पानिनी ऋषि हैज गिवन दिस काइंड ऑफ आंसर दैट इन दिस मटेरियल वर्ल्ड वॉट एवर वर्ड इज देयर दैट वर्ड इज देयर दिस इज इट इज ऑफ टू टाइप्स वन इज मटीरियल साउंड एंड देर इज वन ट्रांसीडेंटल साउंड दैट ट्रांसीडेंटल साउंड इज देयर दैट ट्रांसीडेंटल साउंड एंड मटीरियल साउंड टू काइंड ऑफ साउंड आर देयर वन इज ट्रांसीडेंटल वर्ड एंड हाउ ही कैन अंडरस्टैंड द मीनिंग ऑफ द ट्रांसीडेंटल वर्ड एंड मटीरियल वर्ड वैन यू आर एक्चुअली जस्ट रिसाउंडिंग द मटीरियल वर्ड हाउ यू कैन अंडरस्टैंड द एक्चुअल एक्चुअल मीनिंग यू जस्ट नीड टू अंडरस्टैंड ऑफ द मटीरियल वर्ड ना ओके इट्स अ मटीरियल वर्ड इट इज एंड अ प्राकृत शब्द इज अ ट्रांसीडेंटल वर्ड एंड अबाउट ट्रांसीडेंटल वर्ड आई हैव जस्ट टोल्ड यू अ लॉट ऑफ टाइम बिफोर दैट वर्ड आफ्टर जस्ट टेकिंग इट एंड द ऑब्जेक्ट इट मीन्स इट इज नॉट द सेम द अपराकृत ट्रांसीडेंटल वर्ड स्पेशलिटी इज दैट द वर्ड यू एक्चुअली स्पीकिंग एंड द वर्ड इट मीन्स इज ऑल द सेम that uh, the transcendental word at the time of speaking the transcendental word automatically that transcendental word for what purpose you have just for a specific purpose you have just recited it will just it is non different from each other like the case shila madhvendra puri pad ji actually just crying oh ha krishna ha vrindavan like this he is just crying so madhvendra puri pad from the lotus mouth that kind of topmost melted transcendental word is coming out it is not at all material sound this is transcendental word sound that's why madhvendra puri pad actually this kind of word what he is speaking speaking from his transcendental mouth about when he is speaking that vrindavan and krishna and vrindavan automatically is there in this material word if you will be speaking you speaking pani 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 means water 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 but water and the actual and the actual object the water is not different is different from each other because this word water and the water what you are thinking that is different thing but in this transcendental world it is not at all that that transcendental world what the sound or word specifically you have just initiated and the object it means is all the same it is identical to each other the word which you have spoken and the object it means is all the same you understand what i am speaking panani ji has spoken already speaking that like someone actually speaking that if you just came to take some food you just came to take some food you just bhakshan 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 means to take food and different different words are there panani actually speaking that this bhakshan and bhojan in this word each and every word it is not a word each and every syllable each and every syllable of this word just by speaking that syllable that where that syllable has gone after speaking where it is gone that pa kha shana i am actually speaking bhakshan or bhojan i am speaking this the previous word what we have already spoken where it is gone it is already gone bha kha kshan this time actually already speaking the previous word already gone disappeared and the second word also came and just disappeared third word also come and then also disappeared fourth word also came and the also fourth word disappeared what is the meaning so this is called spoto word very very in depth analysis definitely i'll be discussing it in uh, detail so i have this kind of prayer on the lotus feet that this kind of topmost brahm samhita the topmost treasure which we are getting and if we will be doing some logical argument it if no argumentation on it then nothing will happen like the example i have already given you that there is one child and there is one child that uh, he just want to do some signature that in bengali sanskrit we are speaking hathi khari hathi khari means signature we are doing that all the pandit and all scientific people scientists brahmans and to top most top pure guru vishnu that same child they are actually taking on his lap and they, with the very slate with the blackboard they are just with a chalk they are putting in his hand and speaking a kh g like a b c they are actually teaching that child that i have also uh, by the by the actual instructions of all the pure guru vishnu what to do i can't actually just ignore that 
all the devotees are asking me to just give the name to that uh, boy and i'm speaking to him that this is a this is b this is c and just by speaking him the actual mantra you just speak that so this is the actual instruction of devotees i have to do that what to do so that is called hastakshar just in or that is the actual introduction of doing the hastakshar this is called hathe khori in sanskrit or bengali if some child is actually in the lap of some pandit ji and he is actually speak beta you speak this is a this is b this is c and the child actually making argumentation why why i should speak this that what is the actual proof that this is a you just show me i can't speak like that are this is a no no what is the proof just let me know so if he will be just doing this kind of logical argumentation then his actual uh, starting of the uh, sanskar will not at all start his st- studies and everything will not at all start because how he can start that first he just need to understand what is a b c d after that the actual uh, uh, actual meaning of the word he can get and after that he can just link the two three words and he can know the actual meaning of the total word and after that he can just be getting the actual knowledge by connecting the words and understanding the meaning and after that he'll be doing the doctorate and everything so everything is there in a b c d no so he can't avoid that so whatever someone actually making some argumentation argumentative point then definitely his uh, a uh, word understanding possibility will just go away nothing will happen so this is my actual uh, uh, request on your lotus feet that you please don't speak about this kind of uh, logical uh, argumentative that your conception is also not wrong that how brahma can realize what is the meaning of tap if i can speak this point that uh, just everyone actually, all the meaning is given by bhagwan only inside our heart like our dogs cats they actually don't know the word but after giving them training how they can understand that this word is like that they can understand they don't know the meaning but after getting training whether hindi bangla italian or english whatsoever each and every cats and dog they can just understand that this master actually speak to me this so if he can understand cats and dogs can understand then he is swam brahma that who has got the actual uh, cre- uh, birth from the uh, lotus navel of bhagwan so how you can't understand that tap word that this word actually what is the actual meaning of that word this already get manifested in the heart of brahma by the kripa of bhagwan ha huh? what what is the actual problem in that ha huh? you in order to understand this what is the actual problem that bhagwan is he swam that from the lotus navel that kind of uh, manifestation of brahma has just taken place and bhagwan inside the heart inside his heart is giving that realization the actual tat vigyan he can't speak like that to him ha eh? you can't you can't have this kind of realization that bhagwan who is actually just a very small boy who has just taken birth now and he don't know any kind of language hmm but still but after just getting uh, hungry he is actually is just asking where is the actual breast of my mother i want to take the milk so this kind of vichar is there so he is for bhagwan it is not at all is it, is it impossible for bhagwan so it is everything by tatva gyan it is possible by bhagwan and inside uh, the brahma that tapasya that kind of topmost tapasya he has done that kind of uh, topmost uh, austerity he has done by pure guru vaishnav if someone actually is doing some kind of cleverness or smartness and some kind of uh, speaking r- wrong things to guru vaishnav or whatever you have done in your whole life everything will go in water gurudev you uh, is speaking to his disciple you beta that you started argumentation with me now you just started cleverness with me everything everything whatever you have done everything will go in water now i have what i have already given you the mantra i have given you whatever i have given you the hari katha you are actually hearing everything will go in vain for you everything will go in vain for you everything your life we are just become will totally destroy you don't do this kind of cleverness at all this kind of cleverness you don't do at all uh, by doing such kind of aparad everything will get destroyed your whole life will be just going towards the actual destruction 
your life will go towards actual destruction so how you can uh, protect you who can protect you now you just let me know that guru you are the bhagwan actually loving that guru that bhagwan swayam is just, just respecting that guru you are actually just giving that kind of cleverness with the, that guru the bhagwan will protect you huh? you have haven't uh, heard this in kirtan that bhagwan vishnu chakravarti pad actually speaking you haven't heard, not at all doing this kirtan you are not at all reading it you haven't understand the actual meaning of this kirtan yasya prasada that guru dev by that glorification bhagwan is actually feeling happy and just by non not glorifying that guru dev and when guru dev is becoming that guru dev becoming unhappy and i will just be getting destroyed that tapasya word after hearing that that brahma ji started tapasya by the actual uh, uh, prayer of bhagwan and he just got the actual siddhi of that tapasya that austerity and penance is he got uh, the actual uh, siddhi in that and that kind of poorn bhagwat kripa brahma just uh, realized that inside his heart that it is already getting manifested the actual kripa of bhagwan inside his heart that sachidanand bhagwan that automatically get manifest in inside the heart of brahma after that because of that i'll be just discussing it in the next days and so nice book it is that what to speak of that that you can see in this that subject content i'll be just telling you each and every day what kind of subject content is there and after that that next day if i have to continue that subject matter i'll be just discussing that with you and the next third day is there i'll be discussing the subject matter that day as well that what kind of tat is going on today so in this day shri krishna upasya tatva and shri krishna is the only and absolute upasya tatva about this there is one kind of uh, uh, reason and uh, solution and this actually already started from today and today or tomorrow we will also be discussing you just uh, forgive me today because today is the parent time today i was in hari katha and today parant katha i just uh, forgive me for that and about this 5 to 10 minutes i have to just leave and from tomorrow i'll be just discussing on the basis of that about the by the clip of pure guru vaishnav and by your uh, blessings i'll be discussing in the kartik month i have i am not at all actually feeling well because what to do but unknowingly and knowingly what has happened in kartik month so that's why i'm very much feeling unhappy regarding that and my uh, uh, i am feeling ill as well at that time so what it is there is you can see here that what kind of vichar we have just discussed and to move from tomorrow onwards the actual uh, non stop will be going uh, on this tatva vichar shri brahmo sanhitam bande siddhant saram manjusam shri brahmo sanhitam bande siddhant saro manjusam ज्ञानो विज्ञान वैराग्यो संयुक्त प्रेम भक्तिदा श्री महाप्रभु न श्री महाप्रभु न आनीता श्री महाप्रभु न आनीता मुदा दक्षिण भा दक्षिण भारत दक्षिण भारत प्रदत्याम भक्तवृंदायु श्री नीलाचल धामनी श्रीयता ब्रह्म संगीता नित्याम गियता गियता मुदा चिंतता चिंतता भक्ता ब्रह्म संगीता हृदा वाचकल्पतरो के पास सिंधु भविष्य पतितानंद पावन भो वैष्णवभ्यो नमो